Hey guys, so today I am talking about this ballerina painting that I created a few months ago. It all started with my boss asking me to paint one for her daughter's room, which I got really excited about. I've never painted one. So after that, I did receive numerous comments and compliments about these paintings and if I had any more. So I thought of the idea of making a bunch of these for fun to see what would happen. And I've been really pleased with the results on my paint on these ballerinas. They're absolutely adorable and I feel like they make a great gift for birthdays or any occasions, um, especially for young children that are in ballet. And I think this is something that, you know, is very appreciative. I am not a dancer. But I do love the arts and culture that goes into the ballet theme. So this is a pink tutu ballerina. I'm going to come a little closer so you guys can see her really well. And she's positioned and you can see the tutu is really glamorous and is very magical. So I created this splattering technique to show uh, to show the movement in her tutu. So as she moves, her tutu moves in a magical way. And for ball for ballerinas, the tutu is the main attire and that's what makes it very special. So it's all about the tutu I feel for girls and even adult dancers that really enjoy this dancing. So I'm going to show you another ballerina painting here. This is a pink one and the background is painted in silver acrylic paint. So this entire painting is made with acrylic paint. Here is another one that I'm going to show you. So here is a blue ballerina um, her tutu is blue and she's moving in an astonishing way, so her tutu also shows that. So I'm going to bring it a little closer so you guys can view it. And these paintings are sealed with acrylic seal spray, and so that creates a really nice gloss to this piece of art. So I here is another one another ballerina so this is positioned in a different way and her tutu color is lavender and the splattering is really really nice so another thing is all the ballerinas that I painted they are never the same the positioning may be similar but the important thing to um, see that the tutus are never the same colors also may be similar but the way that it's created in the splattering effect, you'll never have the same ballerina and none of the ballerinas will be duplicated. Everything, all of them are different in their individual ways and which I love, uh, love that idea that all the ballerinas are different in some ways. It cannot be recreated that, so, you know, that's what makes it very special. Um, so these ballerinas also can be found at Etsy.com. I have listed them for sale. This you're looking at an eight by inch as eight by inch square as well. I also have paintings that are six by six inches. So the prices on those vary. I have larger paintings that are listed that are between 16, 16 by 20 inch, 20 inch, and also the largest ones that I have are 22 by 28 inches and those paintings also um, different prices because of the sizes and I will post the link of my Etsy account so you can view all the paintings. If you have any comments and suggestions um, as far as what I can do more with the ballerina poses and if you have um, any ideas where I could sell them more or even promote them in a way that I can um more ballerina lovers could get to see this I would really appreciate it so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please please do check out my Etsy account there's only 27 paintings that are listed um maybe I will do more in the future you know these I did have a lot of fun so We'll see what happens. Thank you for watching. Bye.